QNAP makes some really interesting NASes, whether it's the TS251B that I have here or the number of them that I've reviewed in the past. If you do want to check those out, by the way, just head to the channel and search for QNAP and you find a load of reviews that you can enjoy. They also make some really interesting adding cards. One that I've done recently as well was the QM2, which adds not only 10 gigabit ethernet to your NAS, but also adds two M.2 slots for incredibly fast caching. This one though, this one is actually even more interesting than that. This is the QWA AC2600. The card is essentially just an incredibly beefy Wi-Fi card. Because of the NICs that they use on board, which are Qualcomm uh, QCA9984s, uh, they actually only have driver support for the QNAP NASes and Ubuntu PCs. So bear that in mind if you are thinking about picking this up for anything, you know, Windows related or anything like that. Uh, as far as I'm aware, at least with driver support, the, this card will not work for you. So just bear that in mind if you're, if you're thinking about picking this up. The card offers 4x4 multi-user MIMO Wi-Fi, which is incredibly impressive and handles basically anything you can throw at it. Um, so that's obviously great and it actually has active cooling as well for both of those Qualcomm chips so you're not going to have any bottlenecks with the hardware side. Of course the, the benefit of having that set up is that in theory it means that your, uh, your overall network traffic would be reduced as you can hit the NAS directly for the content that's on it and then go to the router for everything else. This is still something that I'm not entirely sure you would have much issue with because if your router can't handle the traffic going to your NAS along with all of your other network traffic, you should probably just upgrade the router itself. But I guess um, if you want uh, some ball and Wi-Fi in your NAS, you can go this route too. Now there are a couple of bits of software on the QNAP NAS and QTS operating system that you'll want to use with this add-in card. The first one is the wireless AP station, and that is uh, effectively just the, the software that allows you to create the wireless access points for the, the, the Wi-Fi card. Now that's a pretty simple bit of software to use. There's a couple of clicks and you can set up 2.4 and 5 gigahertz uh, networks and SSIDs and you can name them either the same thing like normal routers or different if you fancy. And uh, it's a fairly simple thing to do. You can also see a list of connected devices and how much data they're using and what IP address the, your router has assigned that device. So there's a few options available. You can also go into the network settings just in the general NAS and then manage any direct connection to your network using the Wi-Fi. Now bear in mind that if you want to use this as a sort of failover, so let's say you've got uh, Ethernet plugged in, but you also want Wi-Fi connected just in case, say, your network switch dies or something like that, but you still want people to have access to the NAS and you still want, say, remote users to be able to access the NAS as well. That is uh, something you could definitely do, but bear in mind that you can only use either the 2.4 or the 5 gigahertz networks for either an access point or for that sort of connection to your router. So you're gonna have to pick either have an, having an access point with this or having that sort of failover or the ability to unplug the ethernet and move the NAS, say, further away from your router than your ethernet allows. Now, generally speaking, the benefit for this setup is that in theory, let's say you're an office of content creators, video editors, and that sort of thing and for some reason you're using uh, you know Wi-Fi instead of Ethernet now I wouldn't recommend this and generally speaking most offices I, I just cannot uh, you know offer that as, as a solution but let's say that's the case you can then have an access point that they all can directly connect to the NAS and pull all of their footage and that sort of thing from the NAS itself rather than loading the router now in theory that's a good thing although if your router can't handle the NAS traffic along with the rest of the network traffic then I would generally recommend you just upgrade the router instead as that's kind of the source of the problem but it's an option if you fancy and I guess if you have a place of business where you want to be able to have a load of say end users come in connect to your Wi-Fi and stream content from your NAS then I guess this could be a pretty decent option considering how beefy the setup is. In terms of home use I can't really see too many options here unless you have a very large house and you want to be able to add wireless access points with great connections and also have the benefit of slightly faster access to your NAS as well then I guess that's cool but most people that I know that have NASes which are fairly few and far between uh, generally have them right next to the router with a short Ethernet cable rather than you know miles away and you know would get better signal of course this is an option if you fancy it if you've got 130 pounds that you want to spend on a you know high 
high-end Wi-Fi card for your NAS, then cool, go for it, but I can't really recommend it for home use. For small business use though, this could be pretty interesting. It's certainly a you know, feasible business expense, and if you already have a QNAP NAS, it's incredibly easy to install, just a couple of screws to take the, the sort of side panel off, if you like, and then just one screw for the rear panel, shove it in, screw back in, that's pretty much it. Um, in terms of the, the usability, it's plenty simple, and basically any IT admin could use it just fine, and uh, it could offer some value to your business if you if you can you know work out a use case for it with that said though i would love to hear what you think in the comments down below are you a small business owner and you're thinking about getting this sort of thing or is this you know uh, kind of something you're going to pick up for home use or do you not see any use case for it and you're just here because you love my face let me know in the comments down below so i think that kind of rounds it up really this isn't something that i'd personally use myself although it's just a very impressive wi-fi card and a shame that because of driver supports uh, it doesn't work with anything other than q up NASes and Ubuntu but um, nonetheless it's uh, it's an impressive bit of kit if uh, a little um, limited on its use cases at least from from my perspective um, as I said I would love to hear what you think in the comments down below I'll leave a link to this in the description down below as well if you do want to pick one up or check out pricing when and where you watch this and of course if you want to support the channel there are plenty of links in the description there's merch where you can pick up t-shirts um, with Titan GB or non Titan GB related designs you can also check out the patreon link where you can support me directly and thank you to all of the awesome patrons who do or Amazon and Overclock Shikate affiliate links will also massively help me out so thank you guys for using those too. You can check out that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and want to see more videos like this one. I post every Monday, Wednesday and Friday with live streams on Thursday nights. There's plenty of other videos over here for you as usual and otherwise thanks for watching and we'll see you all in the next video.